Welcome to the Tech Messenger. Hello and welcome to the Tech Messenger. Where today we're going to root the Galaxy S3. We're going to go step by step and figure out exactly how to do it. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to your settings. When you get to your settings, you want to go down to the very bottom where it says about device. Click on that. And then you want to check your model number. You might want to write it down. That's my model number right there. As you can see, I'm at a 4.0.4. So we're going to see if we can change that. But right now, that's your model number. That's what you want to write down and remember. Okay, so next, you want to go to the Samsung website. I'm going to leave that in the description below. Or you can go head over to the Tech Messenger and it'll give you a step-by-step -step process of how to get here but once you're here you want to go to cell phones and then it's going to ask you the mobile of course it's mobile uh, cell phone and this is a sprint phone make sure you can see that and then you got to do your model number remember we look up our model number it was I think uh, there we go. That was ours. So it just goes in the blue. So basically, you want to go to your manual and downloads. And this is where you would download your drivers. So that's where we go to uh, software. Here you go. And then it says device install USB driver. And then you would just download it right here okay now we move on to step three after you've downloaded your drivers you want to go ahead and oops did I click that yeah it did all right you want to go here and you want to download the zip file now, as you can see once you go into it, it's going to say that you need to wait a few minutes then it's going to say click here download this file it's going to ask you to save it I suggest that you save it to your desktop this way you'll be able to find it and it'll look something like this this one right here well at least that's how it looks on mine I'm not sure how your zip file will look so you need to download a zip file unloader I think you have to do that but what I do I put everything into my folders so that one went into this folder here I called it a GS3 root this is that folder open and there's a few things that you'll see inside of here uh, once you get your your zip file inside, which is this one, you just unload it. You open it up, unzip right here, and then these files will appear. This is important. All of them are really important, but everything is right here that you would need. The next thing we're going to move on is to the phone. Okay, so after you plug in your phone, you make sure your phone is plugged in. You want to open up your file to your phone. Now, the file that you downloaded earlier, the zip file with the super user, you want to make sure that you take the super user and you place it inside of your SD card. Now, my SD card is right here. So you see the phone. Let's see if you can get that. There you go. Phone, SD. Go into here. Don't put it in any of these files you can just put it at the bottom so just go all the way down to the bottom and as you can see that's the super user you just take it you can drag it right on over and just place it in it's that simple after you place the super user into your phone you want to go ahead and unplug it because you don't need that anymore and then you want to go ahead and turn your phone off so you just want to oops, you just want to power off I'm at 48 percent all right hopefully this will work and just power off uh yes okay
And we're going to wait for that to cut off. Next, you want to press volume down, your home key, and your power button. All at the same time. So let's do that now. Power down, press, boom. And you're going to wait. You're going to go into Odin mode, basically. Until it goes into your Odin mode. Then you want to press volume up after you read your warning. And it'll look like this. After you get to this part, you want to plug your computer, I mean your phone, excuse me, back into the computer. Okay. Now after you plug your phone back into the computer, you want to go back to your folder that had the Odin inside of it and you want to click it. It asks you to say yes and you should see this exactly with a yellow box on the side that means that you're logged in. Uh, you want to first make sure that you uncheck the auto reboot and you want to go to your PDA go into there and you want to make sure that you select this it's the recovery I don't know what folder you yours would be in but like I said I made my folder GS3 root so I know exactly where it is is on my desktop and then you just go right into it click it press OK or open and then you should see it right there inside your file next you press start it takes a few seconds for it to go through and it's done okay so just like that so the next thing that you want to do is that you do not want to do anything else you just want to carefully unattach it and you want to take your battery off so you want to go out of this while it's still on you can see it's on take the battery out boom very simple it's off put it back in put your case back on make it look nice and you want to power back on after you press the volume up the home and the power button until you feel it vibrate then you can let go of the power button and you want to continue to hold the volume up and the, and the home you want to go until you see, see. It's going so to be in recovery. Into a recovery. So the, I think this is actually make it a little bit difficult to see. So I can change this. All right. So actually, what it is, your first one that you want to go to, you see reboot now, system now. You want to go to install zip from SD card. You choose. You enter by pressing the power button you select by pressing up and down on the volume control so now we want to go to choose zip from SD card which is what we had originally so we're going to press enter these are my files yours may be smaller depending on how many files you have on your SD card already you can go up and it scrolls down to the last one as fast as possible where we have super user zip we want to run that we press enter it says confirm install go to yes press enter by pressing power and it's going to install it's done simple as that now we want to go to go back enter reboot system now enter
Okay, so now we should have a rooted file with super user so that we can do all the rooting things that we want to do. All right, so let's find out. All the rooting unlock. things that we want to do. All right, so let's find out. Let's unlock. Go to our settings. Let's see if we have it. There it is. Super user SU. So you go into it. It says the SU binary needs to be updated. Continue. Yes. Continue. Installation is a success. So we've done everything that we wanted to do. Now let's say that you want to unroot your phone temporarily for whatever reason. You go to full unroot. That will wipe. Okay, so you. Yeah, press that. Oh, overclocking, granted. Uh, granted. It's just asking some things that it wants to do, so you have to tell it yes. Uh, after you're done, you can go back out. Now, you there are apps out there that you can check to see whether or not your phone is rooted. And you can just go right here. It's a basic. Uh, sorry. Get a better angle. It's called Root Check Basic. Let's see if we can get this in. Really, it should. Okay, you want to say granite. Congratulations, this device has root access. The only downside that I've seen with. Well, at least for now that I can see with uh, this root is that your Google Wallet does not work. Now, I don't know if you use Google Wallet. I do use it. Uh, it's very convenient. But while your phone is rooted, it will not work. Oh, well, let me enter my pen real quick. Okay. Uh, actually, it is working. So. I don't know, maybe I have to take that back. Uh, everything seems to be in working order. So I think I will have to take that comment back because I have root and the wallet is working. Now I can say that the first time I did this, the uh, wallet did not work. So I'm assuming maybe if you uninstall and then reinstall that your Google wallet can work. That's a very interesting fact. Well, at least theory. So if it doesn't work for you, let us know here at the techmessenger.com. We would love to find out. And you can let me know at the techmessenger at gmail.com. Send us an email and we'll surely be able to post one of your uh, suggestions or your comments on one of the next videos. Uh, next, we're going to go into some things and actually see whether or not uh we can overclock but from the tech messenger and mr harrison we'd like to thank you and until next time we'll see you later your fan mr harrison don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe the tech messenger.com thanks for being a fan we love you too